Hi everyone, welcome back to our final Teen Tuesday video of the summer. Today we are going to be making four different bookmarks. A corner bookmark, a magnetic bookmark, a book thong, and a scratch art bookmark. So the directions for all four of these will be available in a kit at the Dover Public Library. So for our first bookmark, we're going to do a little corner bookmark. So to do this one, you're going to take your square of origami paper. You're going to fold it diagonally once, unfold it, fold it diagonally the other way, and unfold it. Now, you're going to take your scissors and cut out one of those sections. Hold one, one side back down, and we're going to fold the other side back down. But we want this to make a pocket, so we're going to glue right here. One here to make that pocket. And now you have a bookmark that'll fit on the corner of your page. From here you can take and decorate it however you want. Uh, I like this just the way it is, so I'm gonna leave it alone. But this one, I'm going to turn into a, a little monster, a little dude of some sort. So again, you fold the diagonals, then you cut out one section. Fold one side down. Put some glue. And fold the other side down. And that makes your pocket. And now I'm going to decorate it a little bit. And that's it. That's your first bookmark, the corner bookmark. In your kit, there's enough to make a couple different corner bookmarks. Uh, you don't have to make them this big. You can cut the paper down if you want. You can also use any kind of paper you have at home. Uh, you just need to start with a square. Our next bookmark is a magnetic bookmark. In your kit, there should be several templates. Some blank ones, some fun shapes, even some coloring page ones. So you can make up to, I believe, seven was the max number in your kit. These are really easy bookmarks. You just take your template, and cut it out. And then you color it.
So once you've colored it, fold it in half. Like so, you can open it back up. I'm going to take two magnets. These are sticky back. Peel off. Peel off the back. I'm going to put them, go off the back and put them on your bookmark. And that's it. So for the book thong, you're going to start out by making a knot uh, about an inch into the end of your string. After you do your knot, you're going to string on your beads. So I've got red, white, and blue. Now, you can tie a knot snug against those beads. Now, we need our book, just for a minute, to make sure that we skip enough space to have the book thong hang out of the book. And once we do, I'm going to tie another knot. And then I'm going to add the rest of your beads. I'm going backwards, blue, white, and red. Now to finish it off, I'm going to do two knots close to those end beads, or one knot, close to the end beads, like so. And there we have a book thong. So we're going to trim off the ends a little bit, to make it more even. They're supposed to be really good scissors. So we've trimmed off the ends. And now, as we're reading Wicked, we can mark our spot with a book thong. Okay, our final bookmark is a scratch art bookmark. Now, these are fairly simple. They're just a scratch art rectangle with a hole and for your tassel. And basically, you just decorate it. You just scratch off your design. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of detail by rounding off the edges here. Just to be all more creative. So scratch art is really fun, really easy, and you just scratch off. In your kit you have one scratch art bookmark and one skewer stick. So that you that you can use as your scratching tool.
There's my finished design. It's real easy here. So also in your kit is a piece of colorful yarn. Now you don't have to use this. <laughs> um, this is just what we had on hand. We're going to take the yarn, use it as our tassel in the bookmark. So how I'm going to do this. And go through the hole. And tighten it up like, like so. It's a little long, so I'm going to also trim it off. I'm going to pull the strands apart a little bit just to give it some more depth. And there it is, all finished. Now you can use any kind of string you want for your tassel. If you have other yarn or something that looks better with the colors that are on your scratch art design, go for it. You don't have to use this, it's just what we had. So that is our final bookmark. Okay, thank you for joining me today as we made a corner bookmark, a magnetic bookmark, a book thong, and a scratch art bookmark. So thanks for joining me for our last Teen Tuesday of the summer. And we will be back with more Teen Tuesdays this fall. And I honestly don't know how those are going to go yet, but stay tuned. Uh, we will have something every week for teens, one way or another. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!